Hello guys. All right. So in this video, I will show you how to use the stack builder. So first of all, you navigate to the stack builder by clicking this button here. And <clears throat> you can see in the left menu here that you have nine steps available in the stack builder. So it's the diagram builder is step one is where you build the actual cloud stack. Step two is where you define what content generation mode you would like to use. Step three are the build settings. Step four, where you choose the template. Step five is where you either let the AI generate your images or you do it yourself. Upload images or you manually use the AI. Step six is the company information. Step seven, FAQ. Step eight, embeds. And step nine, footer information. So you will see that uh, some of the steps are similar to the normal website builder and the AI website builder. But uh, obviously the diagram builder and content generation is unique for this stack builder. So let me get started. I will type in my diagram name, Alabama Tree Service. And for this demo, I will create a cloud stack and the keyword will be Alabama Tree Service. And the target URL will be Tree Copy and paste. Good. So, by default, <clears throat> the content generation mode is fully autom automatic. So, what this means is that based on this keyword that you input, the AI will generate a long form article that is about 2200 words long. And we're using Spin Rewriter to spin the contents. So we generate one article, then we use Spin Rewriter to generate a unique spun article and place it on each of the pages in your cloud stack. And for those of you that have tried to use Spin Rewriter, you know that sometimes it doesn't understand the context of the input that you give it. So for example, an Obama tree service, it could replace service with let me find the service uh, service synonym uh, favor or kindness. So Alabama tree kindness could be something that Spin Rewriter could actually come up with. So what I suggest is that you put in your target keyword here, Alabama tree service, because it will now be protected from spinning. So now that I put in Alabama tree service like this, Spin Rewriter will never grab Alabama tree service and change it to something else when it appears in the text. So I always do this, that I enter each of the unique words because I don't want service to be spun, I don't want tree to be spun, I don't want tree service to be spun either. So this is just a, a tip for you. Uh, when you're using you know, the default mode of Cloud Stagger, input the target keywords and the sub keywords that the term is it's, uh, made up of. You also now have the option to input header text or custom schema or scripts or redirect scripts, sneaky redirects. And uh, down here, we come now to the cloud, uh, the, the cloud selection mode. By default, it's set to auto, so auto creation of buckets. And that's what I'm going to show you now, auto creation of buckets. What this means is that when I select, oops, when I select these clouds here, Amazon, Azure, Google Cloud, and Wasabi, uh, the AI will then create buckets automatically inside of Amazon. The bucket will be called Alabama-Tree-Service and if it's if Alabama Tree Service is already created, it will be called it will call it Alabama Tree Service One, Alabama Tree Service Two and Three, and so on and so forth. So um, you can freely select down here. I mean, what uh, class you would like to uh, have. Uh, one thing that you would need to I think it's Oracle. When 
Yax creates buckets for you in Oracle. By default, they're not public. So you'll need to go into Oracle afterwards to convert the buckets to public. And it's not something that we could change the API. It's just, that's just the way that Oracle works, right? Um, so let me grab these six buckets here. And if I click on this guy here, uh, this, this is just the this just these are these are just the accounts that I have inside of my EX account, right? So uh, and uh, all right, so input keyword target URL. I come down here to I'm going to build my cloud stack now. I would like to have one, three, five like this. So what this means is that I'm allowed to build a three tier cloud stack. One page pointing to the target URL, three pages pointing to uh, the tier one, and five pages point to, pointing to each node in tier two. So let me show you what happens if I change that to seven. Oops. And then it's seven, three, one. So you, would you, one thing that's very important is that we randomize cloud selection here. So each time I change this, and click out again. This is randomized. Three. So that's just something that you should notice. You can see now it's Amazon, and now it's uh, Google Cloud. So what I suggest is that you insert your keyword, you select your buckets, you build out your clouds, and then you can fix the. Uh, the, the, the buckets here. And what I mean by that is that you can actually now, you can click on this here, because what what Yax has chosen for you, the, what the Cloud Stacker has chosen for you is that actually Google Cloud is pointing to the target URL. But let's say you don't want Google Cloud to to, to point to the target URL. Let's say you want Wasabi, for example. Then it's Wasabi. Or let's say it's not Wasabi. Let's say it's uh, Amazon. So, uh, this is very neat and very nice little feature that you can actually click and then you know modify. You can actually build the cloud stack exactly how you want it. So now it's Wasabi, Wasabi Google Cloud. That's not probably not the best. So let me say, no, not cloud again. Linode, Linode Wasabi Cloud. That's better, right? So uh, yeah, that's how it works. In this little diagram, I have now built 19 pages. And let me just actually click generate. So now I click generate. You need to stay on the screen while program will check bucket connections. Do you want to continue? I do. So now it's checking cloud connectivity. So what Yax is doing now is it's checking all my accounts for the API key. It's can it connect. And it's also checking is it possible to actually uh, create buckets. So if there is an error, it comes up with this. There's an error in red out like cloud accounts. Remove them first to ensure tier will not break. Uh, error, bucket cannot have ACL sets with the owner, buckets, blah, 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 blah. So it's it's an issue in Amazon. The time is 10 o'clock PM. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with my Amazon account, so I'll just remove this. Let's, let's just, let's try again. Uh, generates. Let's see what happens. Oh, so now it works. So uh, there was a problem with my Amazon. I'll check that later. It said something with the ACL. So ACL means, um, I don't know what it means, but it, it means that you cannot upload to the buckets. So there, there can be two issues with the Amazon buckets. This that's not the topic of this video, but there can be two two issues with Amazon buckets. One issue is that ACL is not enabled. When it's not enabled, I cannot upload files to my Amazon buckets. And if it, if if the bucket is not public, it means that even if I can upload to the Amazon buckets, it will not be uh, shown. The website will not be shown. But anyway, now it's working, and you can see here it's uh, it's not being generated. It might take some minutes. And now it's a, this is a relatively small diagram, it's only 19 pages, so I expect, let me click away, click back, I expect it to be done in you know, a minute, something like that. Let me just, if I can figure out how to click pause on this guy here. Hold on, guys. Good. 
Uh, I'll just click pause. All right, so uh, now it's done. It took a minute, minute and a half, something like that. And all of your stacks will appear in the um, in the table called My Websites. And it will have this green button, so you can see it's uh, generated by the Stack Builder. And I can click here and click View. And now I can see that this image is generated by the Auto Automatic um, OpenAI DALI. And let me, so this is what it looks like. And all of this content is automatically generated. And you can see that there is one outgoing link pointing to alabamatreeservice.com. So let me just close this again. You can also click here. You can download the CSV file. Let me upload it. And what you can see here is you can see uh, the feed file and uh, the feed is for the uh, the home page of the stack. And then you can see in tier one we have the wasabi and you can see the bucket name or in the case of wasabi it's folder name right alabama dash tree dash service dash one and we can see do, 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 Google storage called Alabama Tree Service 2. And let me take uh, let me take backblaze. Backblaze backblaze is in tier 3. So because now we can test what's actually going on here. So Alabama Tree Service 1. What is the secret to completely proven trees? Alabama Tree Service has the solution. That's the URL, right? So I can scroll down, look for the link. So this is linking to Wasabi. I'm clicking. Wasabi is linking to also Wasabi, and this is linking to Alabama Tree Service, right? Okay, so let me select another one. Linode or Linode. So this Linode is linking to. Do, 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 do. I'm looking for the Link Wasabi, which is also linking to Wasabi, which is linking to Alabama Tree Service, and so on and so forth. It, it seems that I, uh, it seems that I, okay, it seems that I wasn't aware that I had actually two Wasabis here. That's that's obviously that's not a wise solution. The, the more intelligent solution would be to have not Wasabi pointing to Wasabi, but uh, I wasn't quite sharp there, but. Yeah, but but you can see uh, you can grab these URLs here, the tier three, tier two, and tier one URLs, and just send them to your indexes or to Colinky, Colinky, the crawler, so the URLs are getting crawled. So uh, no, whoops. Let me just open this guy again here. So everything is automatically generated for you. The meta title is generated by the AI. All of the content is generated by the AI, the image is generated, and the image overlay, and as you can see, there's also an alt tag for the image. And if I right click, right click, view page source, you can see that it also has meta description, and uh, I think we, yeah, schema, schema code also, and yeah, so it basically it has everything. So uh, one final, uh, one final mention about one one final detail about this automated diagram builder the default mode is that uh, you might want to choose the template called the simple template because the simple template will have no redundant HTML and CSS code but that's just I mean it's up to you if you want them to look nice of course just leave it as it is or select uh, one of the classic boxy or portal templates that we have so that was the uh, Cloud Stagger in the default automated mode.